All right, guys, today we're going to be going through lesson two, uh, particularly lesson A for Excel. So you can go ahead and download your file here. And once you get it open, you can go to File, Download, and download that right into Excel. So here is your first assignment. We have lesson A down here. Um, really, all it wants us to do is we're looking at basic autofill. So it wants us to highlight both of these numbers and just drag it down. We kind of went over this a little bit in our last assignment. I showed you a little bit uh, of the autofill. Um, once again, just dragging, clicking on the cell, grabbing our autofill handle, which is down in the bottom right hand corner, making sure that cross turns black, and then copying it down. We're going to go across here, and then we can see that we have 5 and 45. Once again, it's going to find a pattern. Uh, between those two numbers same thing with 6 and 12. so there you have it there's your a1 basic autofill now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, an autofill for a formula so whenever we create a formula in excel we always start with an equal sign all right and you can either type this in or you can uh, click i'm going to click here so i'm going to go to a14 click on this 139 and you can see that a14 appears uh, not the 139. So I'm going to take that cell reference and plus it to B14, which is 793. I can hit my check mark right here, or I can hit enter. And you can see it comes up with that equation. Now, the reason I hit the check mark is because I do want to copy this down. If I do hit enter, it would then select this cell. I'd have to just re-click. Not a huge deal. So... <clears throat> We can see that we have A14 plus B14. If I copy this formula down, we're going to notice that A15 is now uh, in the formula plus B15. So like I said, just like up here with the autofill pattern, patterns, it uh, can predict kind of what we're trying to do if we copy a formula down to the right, up. All right, it will change that. Uh, so here are our equations, and once again, just watch the formula bar, A14, A15, A16, so on and so forth. All right, in A3, we want to select from E14 across uh, to I17. What this is going to show you, and we're going to grab our autofill handle, is that we can also highlight and copy format. So you can see that group 1 did change to 2, 3, 4, 5. The name stayed the same. Uh, and the formatting stayed the same. So just a quick way to, that, that you can kind of copy the way things are formatted. All right, sorting uh, sorting out your data. So whenever we sort, we want to not only highlight the data that we're sorting, but also the header. So our header here is names. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight from here uh, down. We're going to sort by our last name sort function is found here on the right hand side and since our last name is the first item in the in the cell we can just sort uh, a to z numbers same thing i'm going to grab my header all right and you can see that it turns one which means we got the point right What's going on here? Let me just go to custom sort. All right, what's happening? Got that highlighted. Lighted. We'll go to custom sort. Uh, continue with the current selection. So what, what's happening is it's seeing this zero down here, and it wants us to expand the number because it thinks that we're missing uh, a number. So we just want to do my list has headers. Go by a number and it's smallest to largest nope it is largest to smallest there you go and now we get the point uh, so the instructions for state state wants us to oh where am I here state A to Z A 
remember to do that with the current selection. Uh, product number, dates, and group number. What is this? Sort by product, then date. Okay. So for this, we're going to highlight both of them. Once again, highlighting the headers. We're going to go to custom sort. We're going to sort by our product. Hit our plus button, and then by date. Newest to, or oldest to newest. And then finally, we have... This one, sort by group, then age, then last name. Sort by group, then age, then name. There we go. All right, there's your sort. All right, this next one we'll select from K4 all the way down to the bottom of our numbers here and we're going to hit the filter what that's going to do is put little filter bars uh, little filter buttons on each one of our column headers all right so we can you know take away and just see who oh, i mean this is a bad example i clicked name but we could sort anyone that lives in you know just branson all right so your job here is going to be, and I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, let's go through one together. <clears throat> so it says, how many people had birthdays in 2000? So we're going to go to our birthdays. I'm going to deselect them all and then just select 2000. Now, the way I like to count these is I will highlight the names. And then down here in the bottom right-hand corner, it will say count. 17. Make sure you're highlighting the names and not a number. If I highlight the donations, right, it's going, oh, it does give me the count, but it also gives me the sum, the average, just as kind of like a quick reference point. So uh, we have 17, so you can go ahead and in the instructions type in 17, and it should turn right. <clears throat> so the people born between 2000 and 2002, who also, or who also had Susan Black would as their contact, who donated the most. So we can go here. Birthday, 2001, 2002. We'll go over to our contact. Deselect all and click Susan. And then we can even go to donation and say, all right, let's see. Right, I believe Cheryl. So I'm going to copy this, Command C, and we can just paste that right in there. All right, you see the R shows up, which means we got it right. All right, when you filter a number, so in the top 10 donations here, uh, you can go, let's clear these filters. Clear filter. And so it says, in the top 10 donations, who is... The oldest. Right, I'm not sure why that's not showing up. So, once again, just text getting cut off. So you may have to open up the rows. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why that happened. All right, so who is oldest in the top 10 donators? We'll go to donations here. We can go to um, choose one. We're going to say top 10. So we get our top 10, and now we can just say who the oldest is. So once again, went descending, and we can see whoever was born in 96, 4496, Megan between has to be the oldest. All right, so there you go. There is the lesson A. I'm going to let you guys kind of figure out the rest of the filters, um, and I will make a new video here once we get to lesson B. All right, hopefully that helps, guys. Thank you.